Uh, let's go back a little bit. We was in North Georgia wrestling, me and New Jack. So Jack was uh, uh, New Jack. He was already New Jack. See what I'm saying? And uh, I was I was trying all kind of gimmicks, man. I had on karate pants. Uh, I had paint on my face. I used to come to the ring with machete. I would eat meat, raw meat. Uh, <laughs> you name it, man. We was, I was trying to do it. So, uh, you know, while we were in the streets together, kicking it because we knew each other before actually the business, uh, you know, before we found out that we was working. Um, I told him, I said, hey, man, uh, would you like to tag? He said, yeah. I said, all right. So we finally got together and we did a few matches together and stuff. We, we didn't have no name at the time. We, I was just Mustafa Saeed, uh, New Jack, and it was New Jack. And uh, New Jack was good people, man. So I know people who was talking about crazy is, man. But New Jack was my brother, man. New Jerome, that was my brother, man. You know, we had a difference of opinion and things like that. And uh, he'd get mad at me. And I had it coming a lot of times because I was doing some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? But it was all good. You know what I'm saying? And uh, uh, we forgave each other. And every time they would have a shoot interview and he was going off on me come, uh, a few times, he would call me that next day. Hey, hey, we got something going on, bro. Stay ready. Stay ready. You know what I'm saying? So what ended up happening was uh, we worked down at Stone Mountain, Georgia in a, in, a, in a show. It was with Kevin Sullivan, Ronnie Garvin, and all them guys like that. And uh, we came out and Jim Cornette uh, gave us an offer, man. That was it. Uh, what's his name? Gave uh, Jim Cornette gave us the name, and he said, uh, "How about the gangsters?" And we was already doing stuff out in the street, <laughs> so we all laughed. But I don't think his laughing was uh, was different than our laughing. You know what I'm saying? So the new Jack was he was a bounty hunter. Uh, 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 Jerome man, he's something else, man. You know what I'm saying? So he he was out there, and I was out there, and uh, we, he came up with the gangsters, man. And we didn't look back. You know what I'm saying? Would you hang out with him in your in your off time, I guess? Or Oh yeah, yeah, man. Jerome, man, we hang out all the time, man. We was all man, drunk all the time, man. I man, I I'm gonna be honest with you, man. I was never uh sober uh a lot in my career. You know? <laughs> I I was gonna have me a ball, man. You know what I'm saying? I, I said I got to get down. You know what I'm saying? I got to, I got to uh, uh, function the way I know how to function. You see what I'm saying? And uh, but I'm not sitting there saying uh, that that's the the way to go all the time. I was a functional drunk. And did you see the new Jack Dark side of the ring? Yeah, I was in it. You know what, though, man? I, I, I will say this, and uh, I really miss the brother, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, uh, we laughed, like I told, I told some people, we laughed more than 10 lifetimes when we were uh, hanging out, man, and uh, working together at times. And, uh, you know, he was already a talent. And, and I'll tell you this, people, that's not, none of that stuff was my idea. You know, when we were called the gangsters, Jack the one came up and told me, hey, man, buy this. Let's get these fatigues. We, uh, we need to wear this, you know, and, and things like that, man. I was just, I was get the money, man. You know what I'm saying? I didn't want no belts. I tried to take the belt to the pawn shop once. <laughs> I tried to take that belt to the pawn shop. That man said, "Man, that nah, uh -uh. nah, I don't take that. I don't take that with you." So, how did you guys end up in ECW? Well, th that was Jack's more Jack's doing because it was a uh, Cornette and uh, uh, Paul E. I think talked a little bit. I think you know you, can, you can, promoters. Let me tell you something about people like. Promoters and, and bookers, you know, uh, they are good at what they do, but don't believe them. Do not believe them until the, the money is in your pocket. I don't say it like that. But anyway, they were talking, and next thing you know, we end up uh, going up to ECW. Uh, Jack told me, he said, hey, man, we're going to ECW. I said, what's that? Because, you know, like I said, there wasn't no social media uh, back in the day. It was a little bit of internet and things like that, but, you know, it wasn't like it is now. You know, because first of all, some of the stuff we did back then, it, it, we wouldn't be able to be on TV doing some of that stuff. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the blood and, and the, uh, the chairs and the tables and, and those things back in the day. And uh, we had the X-rated kind of things with the females, you know, getting pile drive with uh, 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 G-strings on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You ain't going to see you want to see that on uh, 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 now. 
because the way we were talking, you know, I, uh, it was everything, man. The language was bad. But uh, when we end up there, man, we was, uh, pitted, uh, they put us against uh, public enemy right away, man. That was great. That was great. I know if you were there for the mass transit thing, and what are your thoughts? Of course, I was in the ring when I seen that blood skeeting everywhere. You know what I'm saying? I was the one who picked them up and, and, and power slam. You know, I didn't know. Next thing you know, I looked back, man, I had blood all on my back. And I said, oh, boy. I said, we're going to need a medic. And uh, the, the, the kid said that we're in the back of the dressing room, okay, uh, that he was 21. But, but he just didn't. I, I had a bad feeling about why he even went out there because he wasn't in good. He wasn't in good shape. Uh, you know what I'm saying? He wasn't in no kind of shape uh, at all. Not to say that you got to be muscular, super muscular. But come on, man. The, the, the man must have had at that time, and and I'm not. Now I know he's gone now. But uh, you know, he must have had 30, 50 percent body fat on him, man. You know what I'm saying? And it's okay. It's just, we knock dead people on this channel all the time. Okay, I got, got you. And, you know, and and. He didn't belong, man. You know what I'm saying? 21. That's what he said he was. But he wasn't but 17, man. And Jack got a hold of him. It was over. And then I got I got my I got mine in. And uh she got out the ring, man, and said, Man, it's terrible out there. I said, What? And I looked back, I said, Man, look at all that blood. Yeah, I mean, I've seen a lot worse than that working in bars. So I, I thought that uh, people take that incident a little bit too seriously for what it was. It's nothing that bad, really. Exactly. Thank you for watching the Hannibal TV. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and click the subscribe button to not miss any of our latest shoot interviews, match videos, or news updates. Follow us on Twitter at the Hannibal TV for instant updates.